These are some 18650 style lithium ion batteries made by EBL. And let's check it out. As we can see, these batteries come in a pair and stored in this plastic clear case. Also, each case has this EBL sealed label. As we open the case, we can see two 18650 cells rated at 3000 milliamps. Let's have a closer look at the battery. So we can see the branding EBL, and under that we have the 18650 3000 milliamp 3.7 volt lithium ion writing on it. And if we turn the battery around a little bit, we can actually even see a manufacturer date stamped on the battery. This one says 2021-0103, which I'm assuming is manufactured on 2021 January 3rd. These particular 18650 cells have bottom top design, which is different from a lot of a flat top design. With the bottom top design, it's very safe. And you can see the insulation and the wrapping all the way around the battery it makes these type actually very safe to use. Unlike some of the flat top design, like for example this one, if the insulation is broken on the top due to wear and tear, and somehow you're carrying the cell in your pocket, your keys or any metal objects in your pockets can touch the top, and if it touch anywhere around the edges, it's gonna short the battery and cause a fire in your pockets, which is not what you want. Now again, with these EBL style 18650, it is perfectly safe to use in all your 18650 devices. While we're at it, we might as well check the battery voltage of these new 18650s. We'll put the multimeter scale on 20 at DC, and let me take a measure of each batteries. And let's see these new batteries right out of the box without charge, and what's the voltage reading looks like. So it looks like this one is sitting at 3.8, second one is also sitting at 3.8. So these batteries have a perfect storage voltage. In case you don't know, for our lithium ion batteries, at 100% charge, these batteries go up to 4.2 volts. And at 3.8 volt, it is exactly 50% charge, and it's in its most stable stage, perfect for storage and shipping. This is the exact voltage you want out of the assembly line, and these EBL batteries are spot on at 3.8. Some of the common gadgets that uses 18650 cells are like a battery powered fan or this headlamp. I'm personally a really big fan of these devices because they don't have built in lithium batteries, which you cannot swap out when they go bad. And these ones are all using 18650 cells, so one goes bad, you can replace it with a new one and continue using them. When you buy these devices, they usually come with some cheap 18650 cells, like this one. This one is a flat top design, and for the LED headlamp, this one also came with the flat head. So these batteries have a pretty standard 2200 milliamp rating, which is smaller than these 3000 milliamp batteries. I'm going to show you these batteries will fit just fine in these devices, so I'm going to take this one out and put these EVL batteries in there. So we can see these button top batteries fit just fine in this compartment, and the lamp functions perfectly normal. And now let's also try the batteries in the fan. As we can see, the bottom top battery also fits perfectly fine in this fan. And it also works perfectly fine. Since these batteries are at 3.8 volt right now, I'm gonna charge to 4.2 volts at 100%. And I'm gonna do a test with this fan. Using the stock battery, which is rated at 2600 milliamp, this fan should run on the highest speed for 3 hours. And let's see how many hours we can squeeze out of the EBL battery. So I'll go ahead and charge the battery and start the test. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, it's been 3 hours and 5 minutes since I turned on the fan. And this is left on the highest speed setting which according to this fan's manual, on the highest speed setting, it will run for only 3 hours. So at 3 hours, this fan does not seem like it's slowing down uh, at all. Let's power it off and check the battery voltage. There we go, we're at 3.46 volts. And that is an afterload voltage read, which means the idle voltage should come back up even more than that. So with that rate, this fan should last another hour without any problem using this battery. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the performance of the EBL battery. So we can see the result is pretty clear. These EBL batteries do have a true 3000 milliamp rating, which is much better than these stock junk ones. 
And if you kind of look closer here, there's not even a capacity milliamp readings stamped on here. So if you need some replacement 18650 sales for your headlamps or portable fans or even some RC cars, definitely check out the EBL link down below. I'll also have some 15% discount code listed down below, which you should definitely use if you want to buy some of these. Consider like and subscribe to the channel as always, and I will see you next time.